Good morning. There's an alarm going off in my background. I think it's my wife. <laughs> I hope she wakes up. We'll see. But I digress. This is T.J. McCormick with Sing the Word. This morning, we are delving a little deeper into Psalms because I really like Psalms. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about, round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have smitten all my enemies on the cheek, on the cheek. Shattered the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. You have shattered the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. Save me, oh my God. Save me, oh my God. I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about, round about. Arise, oh Lord, save me. Oh my God, for you have smitten all my enemies on the cheek, on the cheek. You have shattered the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. You have shattered the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. Arise, O Lord, save me from my God. O Lord, arise. Oh, sorry. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. Save me, oh my God, oh my God, save me, oh my God, oh my God, save me, oh my God. Well, good morning. This is T.J. McCormick. Uh, sorry about that. Sing the word, and this morning we are talking about Psalm 3, 6 through 8. New American Standard Version, I might add. Mm. Good water. Oh. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people. That's overwhelming odds. And um, we just watched Princess Bride. And there were 60 men guarding the gate at the castle. And there was only three. There was Wesley, um, uh, Fessig, and uh, the, the Inigo. Yeah, thank you, Peanut Gallery. <laughs> Inigo Mandoya, you killed my father. Prepared to die. <laughs> No, 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 I'm sorry. That's not what we're talking about. But anyways, outnumbered, out whatever, but somehow they got through the line of people. And this is what we're talking about. Ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about. That is, that is a, an, a battalion-sized army. It's crazy how many people that is. 
but he's not afraid. Okay, I'll tell you what, he probably was a little afraid, but saying it out loud kind of helps calm, calm the fear, because that's what's happening. This is, this is like full on fear, being surrounded by that many people. And man, I bet a lot of those guys, and there might have been women, who knows, but they were, they probably had weapons of some sort. Maybe they had like like spears, maybe they had had knives or or scimitars, whatever they had. They it was nasty. Fifteen thousand people. And here he's calling on God. Arise, O Lord. Now, sometimes we just need God to comfort us and to bring joy into our lives when we have had hurts and sorrows. This isn't that time at all. He's saying, arise, call in a big old army, man. Save me, oh my God, for you have smitten all my enemies on the cheek. We are talking about war, folks. We are talking about, this is like full on violent, unfortunate, but violent war. And God is going to call mighty men and angels and whoever is there. And he's going to start slapping people around. This is full-on battle. And something I haven't done lately, I haven't prayed for Ukraine, but Ukraine, there is lots of problems in Ukraine. There's, man, we need to pray this prayer right here. Arise, O Lord, save the Ukrainians from their, oh my God, for you have smitten all my enemies on the cheek. Get out there, God, and do what you do best. Fight for your people. Fight for people of freedom. Fight for people of righteousness. And Lord, if this is a righteous war, I pray you would intervene in mighty and amazing ways. Now it gets even better. You have shattered the teeth of the wicked. Now, back in those days, excuse me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Back in those days, man, if your teeth got shattered, that's it. You know, they didn't have like dentist and clear implants and all whatever stuff they have and veneers. Your teeth get shattered. You're eating oatmeal the rest of your life. It's not good. But this is full-on war, and this has consequences in people's lives. People who fight against God find out eventually there are consequences. And I don't like that. I don't, I don't want to be vindictive. I know sometimes it, it's like, oh, man, this person hurt me so bad. He, he took my, my sandwich out of the out of the lunchroom refrigerator like god shatter his teeth no 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 this is not the time to ask god to shatter some of his teeth this is the time when people are rising up in violence against you now let's talk about for a second when god takes people out and there are times when God has taken people out. And a lot of people say, well, that's not God. God's love and God, you know, God wants to forgive everybody. And to... but there are times when sometimes God's going to be slapping people around and shattering teeth. And those times, please don't ever get prideful. Or be proud. These are times when you are you are in the midst of a battle that can only be fought on a physical level. But there are battles that you can fight right now on a spiritual level. Call out to God. Say, God, arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord. Save me, O my God. 
salvation belongs to the Lord. You can't save yourselves. Do you like that song? I kind of do. Da, 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 da. Hey, it was. Um, you have shattered the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. You may think, well, I, I accepted God. And it's funny. I hear that a lot. And I don't know if that's like a, a source of pride in people's lives. I really hope not because there's nothing to be proud of. For you have been saved by grace through faith, not of yourselves, not of ourselves. It is the gift of God, lest any man should boast. Salvation belongs to the Lord, and he delivers those he wants to deliver. Your blessing be upon your people. That's the last thing that that is said. And we were talking about blessings um, yesterday, about how blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. These are people that are blessed because of what they are doing. Your blessing be upon your people. And there were times when we don't deserve God's blessing, but he blesses us anyways. And if you recognize that, if the Holy Spirit reveals that into your eyes, please take a moment and say, Thank you, God. I don't deserve this. But you and you alone have salvation. Salvation belongs to you, O oh Lord. Do I have time? <laughs> time for some more sing the word. Sing it. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about, round about. Arise, O oh Lord, save me, O oh my God, for you have smitten all my enemies on the cheek. You have shattered the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. You have shattered the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. Arise, arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, arise, arise, O oh Lord, save me, O oh my God, O oh my God, O oh my God, save me, O oh my God, O oh my God, save me, O oh my God. You are here watching Sing the Word with T.J. McCormick. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching, admonishing one another with psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. I have to be to work really early tomorrow morning. I apologize in advance if I don't get to see you, but keep singing the word. We'll see you next time.